Yes, Christmas is right around the corner, 100%. I'm sure we all enjoy receiving sneakers, myself, hoodies. Don't judge me. Yes, I'm wearing a brand new one. But I think there are also some more practical items as adults, both young and old, we would all appreciate receiving. And that's the list I want to bring to you today. <laughs> TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ two swoosh chains two swoosh crew what is going on thank you so much for tuning in to this video we are getting so close to Christmas we are in the holiday season I know that you are busy but you took the time out of your day to come to my channel and view this video so I thank you so much for that if you're already subscribed please make sure that you do have the notifications turned on. I think that's one of the first times I'm really saying that, but yes, please make sure that you have notifications turned on. If you don't know, it's that little bell that's there and you hit all, and that way you can receive all notifications, whether it's me doing a premiere of a video where I can interact with you guys as you're watching the video for the first time, or just so you know when I drop content, and I've said this before, I've somehow set myself up in a position where I'm dropping content daily. So I really do hope you appreciate it. If you're brand new here and you just subscribed, thank you so much. I hope you take a look around, really find some value in the content. Uh, make sure to engage in the comments. I'm going to try to get back to you guys. Full disclosure for the videos regarding bread 11 release weekend uh for some videos there are like 100 comments so if i don't get back to each one personally in terms of a reply i promised i will definitely try to heart it it's just a lot it is a lot i really love and appreciate you guys i'm humbled by it but man it is a, it is a lot it's a Ooh, I'm doing my best, but thank you for tuning into this video. All right, so let's just get straight to it. Yes, it is holiday season. Kids always have a wish list made out for Santa or their parents. Grandparents, doesn't matter. Trust me, kids have their list made out. For adults, I feel like we have a list as well. Not that anybody pays as much attention to the list we may have, but we have a list as well, whether it's you to your significant other, or, you know, parents will say, hey, they'll give a list to their kids, and it's like fun things that the kids can make for their parents, you know, out of love and craftsmanship and parents love anything the kids get them so kids y'all are lucky y'all continue to get a pass uh but we all have lists right and i think many of us could put sneakers on our wish list for christmas uh, december i mean jordan brand nike even adidas when it comes to yeezy they are trying to take everyone's money okay they're coming out with releases out of the woodwork doesn't matter they're just trying to take everybody's money and when we head into january in 2020 I just feel like we should all take a really deep breath because the release is coming out. Like you, we gonna self restraint, some discernment, some priorities will be needed for 2020. But let's just focus on Christmas right now. Take sneakers out of the equation. What else could you really want on your wish list? And I'm just taking this from a more practical standpoint. Now I am going to have another video for you guys where I talk about you know some top sneaker gifts or sneakerhead gifts that I think would be awesome for you to, you know, pretty much gift for somebody during this holiday season. So stay tuned for that video. But this is going to be a practical wish list or practical gift list for adults for Christmas. Now, some of these may be a little bit comical, but I'm being dead serious about all of these. Yes, the list is kind of long. I had to make a list myself. Okay, so that is exactly, I'm going to scoot all over just a little bit so you guys can see the list. I will try to have it here as well so you can follow along with me. <clears throat> Number one, I feel this is highly important, okay? A gas card. I, I said it. Yes, a gas gift card. Listen, I have coworkers that went, whether it's my birthday or whether it's um, just my anniversary at work, they will gift me gas gift cards and they are such a blessing. I, I really am truly thankful for them all seasons, not just holiday season. Gas is ne it's always one of those staple expenses we have to pay for unless you choose to Uber or you're able to take public transit. Okay, then that's a little bit different. Um, but if the person takes public transit, if you know they're in the Chicago area, the New York, New York area, I mean, could you get them like, I don't know, a subway card, however that works. But listen, a gas card is a great practical gift because if you drive a truck, if you have to simply drive a lot during your week or if you have to buy premium gas like me. 
gas adds up really quick. Okay, so a gas card is number one on that list. Number two, food gift cards, okay? And that also includes grocery stores. Why? Because you have to eat. It's another staple in life. And that's something that we always want taken care of, okay? A roof over your head, clothes on your back, food on your table. Those are some of the staple things we all want. So having a food gift card, and it can be to that person's favorite restaurant. It can be to anywhere that they like to go. But just remember, like think about those times where you're, you're dog tired, you really don't wanna cook. You just, you, you may not even have the time to cook or prepare a meal and you happen to find a gift card to a restaurant. Like you just, <gasps> There's a wave of relief that comes over you because you know not only do you not have to prepare the food, you also don't have to pay for the food. And same thing goes for groceries. That's why I'm saying whether it doesn't have to be a restaurant gift card, it can be a Kroger gift card, Walmart gift card, I don't Whole Foods, Fresh Time, doesn't matter. Okay, just a food-related gift card. I, I'm just saying. Number three, and this may seem a little vain but um, a car wash pass or gift book. So I'm not sure what you have around you, but Mike's car wash is the big one around here, the franchise car wash, I guess, business around here. And they do advertise wash books as a great Christmas gift. I think it's great if you live in an area or you know the climate that's seasonal, like myself in Indiana or in the tri-state area, we experience harsh winters, not as harsh as like, you know, far east coast or maybe even Minnesota, but we still experience winters, which means you have to keep up on not only the regular mechanical maintenance of your car, but also getting the salt and just the dirt and everything off of your car and snow and ice. And what better way to help someone do that or to continue to keep their car in tip top shape than a car wash booklet or, you know, pretty much a gift pass. Like, listen, I am someone, and maybe you feel this way too, when you get your car like that fresh wash, you've cleaned it out, there's nothing better than that. I'm just gonna be real. Like you feel, the, the car looks good. You feel like you look good riding in the car. So I will go ahead and put number three on there, a car wash pass or booklet. Number four, this is for all my parents or soon to be parents. If you know there's an individual that's expecting that they have a brand newborn, diapers slash pampers and i am not joking okay go ask parents just how often they go through these okay they they love that you gift them clothes and onesies and little booties and the crib sneakers i'm sure they love them okay but kids grow out of those things they don't last okay parents are going through diapers like it is nobody's business as that child breathes they end up needing a diaper change so gifting that to a parent Awesome, amazing, I'm sure. Parents, you can chime in in the comment section. How would you feel if you looked up and you had a huge box delivered from friends and family of just pampers or diapers, especially when they are in that newborn phase? Number five, and this is, this is more along the lines of treat yourself, okay? Look good, feel good. A certificate to that person's salon or their barber because men, I, I talk, I talk to the male friends, okay? I know you guys feel just as amazing as women do. Women, you go get your hair laid, done, curled, pressed, dyed, <laughs> colored, whatever it is. You feel amazing when your hair is freshly done, okay? New hair, who this? We, I, we know that hashtag. Man, you're the same way. When you get a haircut, you... <laughs> Don't let your girl hype you up either after you get a haircut. Oh, can't tell y'all. No, really, men are far worse. I just want to say that as a little side note. Men are far worse. When you guys get your haircut, y'all act like y'all don't know nobody, like y'all ain't even with nobody. It's a whole shame for 72 hours and then you know you act like you found yourself after that but go to the salon or even for women it could be a manicure pedicure wherever they like to go and receive pampering or to treat themselves go to that salon and ask for a whole package gift card whether it's a mani petty the hair service i promise you they will be super grateful because during that time where they just feel really broken down they're exhausted they're tired day-to-day -day life is kicking their butt and they really just need some me time some uh, rest, some restoration, recovery. That's a great thing to be able to do. Just go perk yourself up by feeling a little bit better about how you look and how you feel. Uh, just keep that in mind. Number five, or number six, sorry. Number six, uh, this is in relation to, and it really just depends on this person's style of preference, 
but you pay a year's worth of a subscription service, you know this individual will love and find so much value in. So if the person is a really big movie buff, I know that they now offer movie passes for an entire year, pretty much where that individual can go and see as many movies as they want an unlimited number of times because they've already paid a set amount for the month. And it can range anywhere from 14 to $20, but it's absolutely worth it if you know that person likes to go see every major box office movie that comes out. So that's one option. If they are really into stance socks, like I'm trying to get more into the sock game and get my sock game up. But if they're really into stance socks, there is a subscription service. If you didn't know for stance socks and that individual gets to pick the socks that they want, or they just, if they forget to select them, they just get socks sent to them. Uh, that is one thing you can do. Like the brand that I work with uh, behind the scenes, you guys probably don't know this, but Donuts and Deadless, that's where this hoodie is from. It's from their brand new line that released on Black Friday. They actually have a t-shirt tank top subscription service where individuals pay a monthly fee and they actually get a brand new um, shirt that's not even released to just general customers. So that's something that you can think about as well. Number seven. Ha. <sighs> I use this so much in just daily life of cooking and it is a blessing. And if you do not own an air fryer, I would suggest you get an air fryer because it cuts down on the oils, the amount of fats that you may be taking in. I don't mean like good fats because there are very good fats that you should be taking in, but fats just from a lot of oil that you don't want saturated with your food. An air fryer is amazing. I love cooking wings in the air fryer. For one, I don't have to heat up my whole house with an oven, but it does provide that crispness, still gives you that moisture. Uh, in the meat itself. So just understand an air fryer is great. The one that I have and I try to put people on Best Buy is actually a great place to get an air fryer. That's where I got mine from. I will try to link it or at least show you guys a picture of the air fryer that I have. But I think an air fryer, air fryer is also a great gift to, to give to someone. Um, if you're a really busy it's great if you have kids also and you of course are not you don't feel that safe with them you know operating an oven or a stove i don't blame you so an air fryer i think is a little bit safer as well this is my last one and some people don't like this as as, as a gift i have zero problem with it i am open to it cash in any form actual cash a check cash app paypal uh, a visa gift card a mastercard listen Life is expensive. Breathing in itself as an adult is expensive, okay? It's not cheap. I think a lot of us, you know, you say when you're younger, you can't wait to grow up. And once you grow up, you're like, can I please take that back and just not be grown anymore? So simply gifting cash, like you have no idea the situations that people can be going through and the, the blessing of just a cash gift you don't even know that that could pay a light bill that could actually provide them like pampers or diapers for their kid that could provide them so many things. Maybe that allows a parent who has taken care of the essential things that they needed to take care of in life. But now you've gifted them cash. Well, I'm going to be honest. Parents are so selfless instead of spending it on themselves they'll probably spend it on a kid. And at the end of the day, who can be mad about that? So cash to me is always a great gift. It's a practical gift. Adults have a lot of things they need to do. And all the time, based on what you gift them, like I'll be very honest, I hate receiving gifts that other people love themselves and they just happen to think that I love. And it just sits there. I'm not one to keep it. I will donate it. I will re-gift it. Just understand that I'm being very honest. I don't want it to go to waste. I don't like a lot of clutter in my space. You can tell just based on hopefully like the way you see my area set up, I don't like a lot of clutter. I like it clean, I like it sleek, I like it organized. So try to gift practical gifts this season if you're not sure what to gift someone because something that they can use on a daily basis or really in a time of need, I think is important. So thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Please stay tuned this week. I'm gonna do my best to get out more videos for you. I'm extremely tired. I have no idea how I'm awake and still functioning, but I thank you for watching. Peace out. Mm -hmm.